What was the greatest season in baseball history? Some may say it was 1998, the famous home run chase between Sosa and Maguire that saved baseball. Others may point to 1968, a year of domination by pitchers, now dubbed the year of the pitcher. Some may even point to 1908, in which the pennant races in both leagues came down to the last couple games of the season. While there are not necessarily any right or wrong answers, there is one season that I believe should not be overlooked as the greatest of all time. The 2001 MLB season brought some of the most exciting moments in baseball history. From an exhilarating World Series, to unprecedented records, to a sport helping a country find hope following the September 11th attacks, the 2001 season was one of the most memorable and important in the sport's long and celebrated history. In this episode, we're going to wind our clocks back and take a closer look at this year by counting down the 50 greatest moments from the 2001 Major League Baseball season. He stands between AJ and the no-no. And he popped him up. He skies it on the infield. Gonzalez wants it. Backs up. That's a no-hitter. AJ Burnett has thrown the no-hitter. And the 24-year-old from Arkansas has written his name into the history books. Doing it again to the red center field. High in the air, left center field. Edmonds back. Warning track. It is. Off the wall, Griffey round second, he's going to third, Robinson picks it up, they're going to send him, here comes the throw, how about this, it's over, inside the park, over, the Reds have won it, how about that? Hey, I'll, have a, I'll have some speaks with that home plate umpire after the game. At number 47, we have Oakland A's ace Mark Mulder throwing a one-hitter against the Arizona Diamondbacks on July 6th. Mulder, in his sophomore season, demonstrated the prowess of his ball club's elite pitching staff. That also included the likes of Tim Hudson and Barry Zito. Mulder held the world champions to be to just one hit while striking out nine. Not only did Mulder give up zero walks, but he never even reached a three-ball count that night as he led the A's to a 3-0 victory. Mulder would finish the season with 21 wins, coming in second in the AL Cy Young voting behind Roger Clemens. Number 46. Roger Clemens goes 20-1, the first pitcher in the history of baseball to begin 20-1. At number 45, we have Barry Bonds recording his 171st walk, breaking Babe Ruth's single-season record of 170 that had stood since 1923. In the sixth inning of a night game in Houston, Astros pitcher Nelson Cruz, not that one, that's it, gave Bonds his record based on balls as part of an 11-8 Giants victory. Bonds would extend his record to 177 in the season's final games, and would go on to break his own record the next year, and once again in 2004. Next on our list, we have Lenny Harris of the New York Mets breaking the all-time pinch hit record with a sixth inning single off of Expos hurler Carl Pavano on October 6th. This was Harris's 151st pinch hit, which surpassed the record of 150 held by Manny Mota. Harris finished his career in 2005 with 212 pinch hits, still the most all-time. Number 43. Deep to right field! This one is on its way to McCovey Cove! Number 500! It's into the water! Barnes has hit the historic 500th homer, the 17th man in history. He joins his godfather, Willie Mays. He joins Willie McCovey and Mel Ott, the fourth giant to do it. At number 42, we have rookie sensation Ichiro Suzuki taking home the American League Most Valuable Player Award. 
finishing just in front of Jason Giambi in the voting. Ichiro was only the second rookie to be named MVP in baseball history, after Fred Lynn did so with the 1975 Boston Red Sox. Number 41. And there's never been a no-hitter at Camden Yards. Fly ball, shallow left. This could do it. O'Leary. Hideo Nomo has spun the no-no against the Orioles. At number 40, we have Barry Bonds capturing his fourth Most Valuable Player award after putting together one of the best offensive seasons in baseball history. In 2001, Bonds led all of baseball in, well, most of the really big offensive categories, giving him a near-unanimous MVP win. Bonds would end his major league career with seven MVPs and is the only player to win any more than three. Number 39. But the ball just jumps off this guy's bat. Fair ball. There you go. Using the whole field as Ricky Henderson will run that ball down and John Olerud will have a stand-up double. Pretty good chance that guy could hit for the cycle tonight. Who knows? Oh! There it is. He has hit for the cycle. How about that? At number 38, we have Albert Pujols being named Rookie of the Year in the National League. Pujols put together one of the finest rookie seasons ever, and here is where we will celebrate his excellence this year. In 2001, Pujols hit 329 with 194 hits, 47 doubles, and 37 home runs. As a rookie, he also finished fourth in MVP voting, and you know a year is really something else when two rookies finish in the top for most valuable player. Number 37. Three ball, one strike pitch on the way. Outside ball four, that's 2,063, a new standard. All time base on balls, it goes by Ruth. At number 35, we have a major transaction that occurred before the beginning of the season. In Derek Jeter signing a $189 million contract with the New York Yankees on February 11th. This was one of three monster contracts signed in the 2000 to 2001 offseason, with the others belonging to Manny Ramirez and Alex Rodriguez. Number 34. The question has already been answered. Should we be here? Yes. As our fathers did before, we shall win this unwanted war, and our children will enjoy the future we'll be giving. strikeout has retired 26 in a row that one is into left center base hit the first hit of the night the first base runner Messina was just one strike away from a perfect game the runner goes the ball has bounced to Soriano and a bad throw but Bellinger with the tag and the game is over at number 31, we have a very unusual moment that more people should know about. On August 24th, 2001, Mariners reliever Arthur Rhodes came in to pitch in the top of the ninth in a tight game against the Cleveland Indians at Safeco Field. Upon coming into the game, Indians batter Omar Vizquel exclaimed that Rhodes' earrings were reflecting sunlight off of them and were distracting. Rhodes was asked to take them off but refused. This somehow resulted in a benches clearing brawl and and Rhodes' ejection. Rhodes, who didn't even throw a single pitch, was replaced by John Halama, who got Vizquel to pop out. The Mariners ended up winning this one in the bottom of the 11th. Number 30. Miguel swings and blisters one in the right center over a leaping second baseman Boone, and it's going to roll to the wall. It's hit that hard. Each row tracks it down, and Tejada has a double. Triple, single, double tonight. Fastball hit the left field deep. King sailed back. It is gone! It's a grand slam cycle for Miguel Tejada. Do you believe that? 
Kendall bounces this one up the middle. Shortstop, nice pick. Hernandez throws on the first and just does get Kendall. He doesn't agree with that call. Now comes Lloyd McClendon again. Now Lloyd McClendon has been tossed, whipped his cap towards second base. It's still sitting on the grass. He's going to pick up first base a la Lou Pinella. And he's walking away with the first base bag. And I guess he's just going to walk off with it. To the delight of this crowd, McClendon marches down the dugout steps with first base and now whips it toward the runway. And he'll hand the lineup card to Bill Verdon. At number 27, we have Hideo Nomo again, this time turning in a one-hit, no-walk, 14-strikeout performance in Boston on May 25th. In a magnificent career, Nomo's performance on this day may have been his greatest, even overshadowing his two career no-hitters. Pitching game score, a statistic created by famous statistician Bill James, is a metric that determines the strength of a pitcher in a given game. This stat rewards a pitcher for things like outs and completed innings, and subtracts things like walks and runs allowed. So, the higher the score, the better the performance. Nomo's pitching game score in this game was rated 99. This was the best pitching game score for any pitcher in 2001, and also ranks tied for the 16th best score in baseball history. Number 26. And the one long, a high pop, off third foul. Brocious and Jeter are there. Jeter makes the catch and falls into the crowd. What a catch by Derek Jeter. The Yankees can win the series with one more strike. He struck a lot swinging. Ball game over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. At number 25, we have Diamondbacks ace Randy Johnson getting strikeouts 367 through 372 in the last regular season game he would pitch during the 01 season. Johnson's strikeout efforts this year rank third all time, and he remains the only pitcher in recent memory to even come close to the strikeout milestone set by Koufax and Ryan in 1965 and 1973, respectfully. Interestingly, if we include postseason play, Johnson's strikeout total in 2001 would reach 419, which would outrank any other single season strikeout total in history. Number 24. Ground ball, base hit in the right field. Heading for third is Terrence Long. The throw by Ichiro. Beautiful. Peggy got him. Holy smoke, a laser beam strike from Ichiro. What an odd situation. It's a strikeout, and there's a slow reaction, and now they'll put it up on the board. And, well, it's a trivia question forever. Ground ball speared by Smith. Over to first base. He's got the no-hitter. 21-year-old Bud Smith. No hits the Padres. At number 21, we go to June 8th. On this day, the Mariners won their 15th game in a row, which would not only be the longest streak in franchise history, but also the longest winning streak for any team in the 01 season. This was the best win streak by an American League team in the last 10 years. And at number 20, we have Alex Rodriguez signing a record 10-year, $252 million contract with the Texas Rangers on January 26th. At the time, this was the biggest contract in sports history, and to this day, it remains the ninth biggest contract in sports history. This signing makes it on our list due to the impact it had, essentially starting the trend of the mega contracts that Major League Baseball has seen throughout the 21st century. Number 19. Rookies have some success against him. He's four for 13 with a home runoff toss. And a fly ball, right field. Is it gonna fall? Is it gonna fall? There it is! There it is! Number 3,000 for Ricky Henderson. And now, farewell to Tony Gwynn. You were the greatest player in the history of the Padres, the greatest pure hitter of our time, and San Diego's most accomplished sports star. Thank you, thank you, thank you. A 
three hit shutout in game two, a four to nothing win over Andy Pettit. Two out. Inning over. That's fair pass third down the left field line. Womack will score easily. Batista goes to third, 15 to nothing, Arizona. Game six belongs to Arizona. For the Orioles, Iron Man. The 1 1 squeeze play, and he missed it. Cummings tagged out for the second out of the inning. 2 2 pitch to Womack. Little floater, left field. Here comes Batista. Here's the throw. Diamondbacks going to the NLCS. For tonight's ceremonial first pitch, and please welcome the president of the United States. Swung on, hit high in the air to deep right center field. Back goes Ichiro on the track at the wall. She's gone! Alfonso Soriano wins the game with a two-run home run over the right center field wall. The Pirates have scored three here in the bottom of the ninth. The Bucks have the tying run at first base. Giles swings, drive to right field. Buckos win by way of a grand slam. Brian Giles, a line drive, grand slam into the right field seats. I mean, there's 70 and there's 71. There's a high fly ball, left field, that ball to the wall, that's the wall, and there goes another home run, and there goes a new all-time run scoring record by Ricky Henderson. Oh, doctor! Sammy hits a high fly ball, deep right center. Back goes Merced to the wall and right, leaping. That ball is gone for a home run. He's carrying an American flag around the bases, and the Cubs lead one to nothing. Swing and a miss by Castro. Strike him out and the bat goes fly. But none would be bigger than number 20 here tonight. Randy Johnson has tied the major league record for strikeouts in a nine inning game. 20 for the big unit. Tying run at the plate. Under its second, two out, two nothing Arizona here in game five. Brocious hits one in the left. Back at the wall. The Yankees have tied it again. On two and one. Into right field base hit. Here comes Noblock. The throw by Sanders. Play at the plate. Yankees win. They lead the series three games to two. You gotta wait for a gapper. That is fair down the right field line. Giambi on his way to third, and they're gonna wave him around. The throw misses a cutoff man, shot into the plate, out of the plate. Derek Jeter with one of the most unbelievable plays you will ever see by a shortstop. 14 to 11 Mariners. 
three on, two out. The runners go. Down the line. It's headed into the corner. One run is in. And it goes through. They have tied the game. It's 14 to 14. They have come back from a 12-run deficit and tied the game. And there it is. Base hit. Back to more charges. Here comes Lofton. Here comes the throw. Thief. And Cleveland has won it. With the 0-2 to A-Rod. Swing! And a foul tip into the glove of Dan Wilson, who hangs on to it. And no baseball team in history has ever won more games than the Seattle Mariners. The Diamondbacks are one out away from taking a three games to one lead in this 2001 World Series. Martinez hits one to deep right center field. For the first time in the history of Major League Baseball, playing the World Series during the month of November, and for very good reason. And the 3-2 pitch. Swung on a drill to right field. Going back Sanders on the track at the wall. See ya! See ya! See ya! A home run by Derek Jeter. He is Mr. November. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave for the land of the free. Lopez wants it away. And it's hit deep to left center. Andrew Jones on the run. This one has a chance. Home run by Piazza. And the Mets lead three to two. A two run home run and this place exploded. It's been waiting to explode all night. And why is baseball back? Why was it so important to give fans a few hours to forget about their troubles? Those firefighters. Yep. Smiling because of a baseball game in Flushing. Well, the American League All Stars are on the field. Alex Rodriguez thought of this. This year should be the year that Cal Ripken Jr. should finish as an All Star and start this game as a shortstop. As he pops it up, left side of the infield, and Alex Rodriguez, the third baseman at the shortstop position, Takes it in for the first out of the night. I don't know how to mark that down in my scorebook. Standing ovation. It will grow as Ripken bats here in the third. The man of a thousand stances leads off. Rips one. Goodbye. Ripken homers in his final All-Star game. Oh. Shattered bat and it catches Tommy Lasorda. And he's all right. He gets a 9-8 for this. Chest protector, only appropriate. <laughs> Cody, Cal, on behalf of all the players and everybody gathered here, thank you not only for your on-the-field activity, but for the human beings that you've been and the wonderful, wonderful legacy that you've left our great game. Thank you very much. Right-hander Kurt Schilling. He has worked seven innings in each game against the Yankees. Games one and four. Got it. Three-two pitch. Two out. Schilling has struck out eight. Allowed one run on only four hits. Soriano into deep left field. At the wall. Yankees on top. Two to one. And now it's Randy Johnson who has pitched 11 games in his career in relief. Posada strikes out. Bottom of the ninth inning. Last chance for the Diamondbacks. Down 2-1. to one. In the center field, a good start for Arizona. The best chance. The bunt by Miller. Throw to second. In the center field. 
Two on, one out, and Womack into right field, a hit. Here comes Cummings, it's tied. Going to third is Bell. Tony Womack delivers, it's 2-2. The chance of a lifetime for Luis Gonzalez. The one problem is Rivera throws inside the left-handers, and left-handers get a lot of broken bat hits in the shallow outfield. That's the danger in bringing the infield in with a guy like Rivera on the mound. Florida, center field, the Diamondbacks are world champions.